All right, here we go. Time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And today we're going to finish the Watchtower series. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. We're inside of our elevated tiny home slash deer stand slash watchtower in the woods. Now, someone's going to say, this is just a recap video. My response, look at the thumbnail, read the title, read the description box. I'm also explaining this to you within the first one minute. So you've already skipped, you're going to miss this whole part. Now, I want to show you pieces of, not the complete, pieces of parts one, pieces of parts two, and then this is part three final. So with that, let's get to it. So here's the area I'm thinking about putting a tower at. Why? Because we have six actual trails right here that all converge and meet right here. We have elevated position right here where that lawnmower is. I'm thinking construct the tower right there. That way I get a view downward to trail one, two, three, four, five, right behind these bushes here, and six, right where we came from. So, tower right there, eight by eight by 10 or so. Open killing field, deer feeder down here. All six trails converge. So we got eight by eight by eight by eight. And this should be 11.3. Boom. be like, what'd you do before this? I dig holes. And if I fill them, that makes me the postman. Boom! I can do this all day. Google liquefaction. It happened to that old school pirate town back in the 1600s. They built it, it was booming, it was badass, and then over time it started sinking into the sand, never to be heard from again until the modern era. So to prevent my watchtower or lookout tower from becoming the leaning tower of Pisa, I'm going to create an artificial rock under the structure. We're going to stick with three foot deep holes, but I'm going to go to two foot depth and I'm going to add a bag of concrete and create an actual rock or a platform to set the posts on. Then we'll add concrete around the post and tie it all together. And hopefully that will keep it from doing this number right here. And it appears to have worked. So, all right. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Here at Corporal's Corner, we're all kinds of ghetto.
That was one eternity later. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bags. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, this is a sorry sandwich. Um, bought it this morning before I came out here from the gas station. Um, ham, turkey, and cheese. Uh, but I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat it. Um, no fire tonight, because it was 95 degrees today and about 95% humidity, and it drained me. I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna eat my sorry sandwich, hang here in my hammock, and I'll catch you all in the morning. Tomorrow we'll go ahead, and these beams up here, I actually left it open. We'll put a trap door in, lay some plywood, and then we'll go from there and then we'll call her part one. So with that, I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich. I'll catch you all in the morning. That's kind of cool. Taking a break right now, and like I said before, this uh, tower is going to be next to one of the mine shafts. So just messing around here, we found a pickaxe last week. This week, it resembles iron. Um, honestly, I've owned a couple meteorites in my lifetime, and that's exactly what this looks like. And you can see somebody cut this off in the past, either to make a paperweight or they want to see what it was, and they just said, F it, and they tossed it. But that's kind of cool, man. And this thing is heavy, too. Um, I'm wondering now if there's any more around here, so I don't know. Pretty cool find. Meteorite in the woods. So we found lead and a space rock. Boom! Take that, Joe Dirt. Or should I say, Joe Dirt A.
tips and tricks you don't know. Kind of resembles an L7 notch from Bushcraft and Survival. So think about it. Real world stuff transferring to Bushcraft or Bushcraft transferring into the real world. Bottom line, if you know one, you can do the other. All right, looking badass, if I do say so, my damn so. Check this out, design change. Here's what I'm thinking. Frame in the side wall on the right, back wall, side wall on the right again. Turn it into a makeshift trapper's cabin lean-to. That way of a place to sit back in there, kind of like on a bench seating that can be turned into a bed. You're blocking the wind and rain on three sides as well as a roof. And you can still step out to this large side window or the front window and take your shot. Puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. All right, two more days and we're gonna call this bad boy done. I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna climb on top, grab my stuff, and I'm hitting the rack. Catch you all in the morning. Alright, so today we're going to go ahead and frame in the front wall and the back wall to match the side wall, then add horizontals for our decking, and then work on some rails and pickets. Let's get to it. And the last one can go right in here. Boom. Done deal. So wall number two. Boom. There it is.
Yeah, I know it's brown, so what? This is a hodgepodge. The leftover crap from a barn, my house, and my cabin in the woods. Just like that. So I have my reservations whether or not to finish this video. And the reason why is because the views were in the toilet last time. And so I figured I would go back to bushcraft. Everybody wanted bushcraft. Everybody wanted skills. Went back, did all that for several weeks, and it didn't matter. So I'm getting the same views in bushcraft and survival as I was doing this. So I figured, what the hell. Went back and finished it. Also, we got hunting season like in about two and a half months, and I wanted this bad boy complete for some overnighters, um, like a deer camp type thing. Um, this is not winterized, as you can see, but in future videos, we'll insulate. I want to pull some electrical in here, put an outlet, maybe a light bulb, maybe a three quarter wall, a stove, some type of folding bed. Um, and I, that way I can put a chair out front here and just sit with the crossbow and be like, thunk and be done with it. Um, but plenty more videos to come. So the whole point of this series is a total of six working days, six full 10 to 12 hour days to build this by myself. I have no carpentry or construction background as far as building something like this, like framing. I'm a welding inspector, concrete inspector, masonry inspector, fireproofing inspector, epoxy bolting inspector, construction inspector. Um, I read a couple books, a couple manuals, and I went ahead and did the takeoffs and figured out how much lumber I would need, which was expensive um, in today's economy. But I just wanted to show you that you can do this as well. You just put your mind to it and do a little bit of research. Um, this thing is solid, dude. It is solid. I mean, it's not even moving, and we're 10 feet off the ground. So, um, something to think about. So with that, I'm going to get my gear, get set up, and I'll catch you in the morning for coffee time and breakfast. Ah, God. Time to get up. <clears throat> coffee time. And some breakfast.
It's still hot out here. So we got the bacon spam scramble with Tabasco. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking about right there. This is really good. Probably noticed I'm on a spam kick right now. Hated that crap for years. I've been testing these flavors out, and this is pretty good, but the hickory smoke one is probably my favorite. Yes, this is bacon, but it's not bacon. It's like saying a veggie burger is a hamburger. No. Really good. And Nest Crap Fay, three in one, strong. If you buy this, make sure you buy the ones that are foreign, meaning that they have foreign words on them. Somehow it's stronger, it's weird. Um, it tastes better and it's a lot stronger. And there we go, six days solo overnight building a watchtower slash deer stands slash elevated tiny home in the woods. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. And now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. Okay, so there's something I want to talk about real quick. Um, it can be applied to any workplace or relationship. Um, in the civilian or military world. There are two types of leadership. One, they surround themselves with like-minded people who have the same goal, same interest. They care about each other, they work together, they want to get the people at the lowest level up to their level and surpass them. They'll do anything that they can, they'll do whatever it takes because they know that they had a hand in that person or persons or his or her career and they helped make them who they were or who they are or who they're going to be. Um, and that's probably the m best goal for everybody. Um, <clears throat> there's no fear of competing. There's no fear of, you're going to take away my business. There's no fear of, well, if you do this, then I won't make this money anymore. There's no fear of, um, well, they'll come over here to, you know, they'll go to McDonald's to come in over here to Hardee's and Carl's Jr. Um, everybody works together for the greater good, and they basically are of the same mind, and they care. Okay. The other side is leadership or in a relationship because it applies to both. Think about that. They surround themselves with people who are subservient and who are desperate, who are beneath them, who will do anything to, for that 15 seconds of fame. And there's no fear that that person or persons and the higher positions will be knocked off the pedestal because the people down here will always be here. Um, you'll be limited. You're going to be kept right here. You're going to make this amount of money. You're only going to do this thing three, four, five, ten years from now and be told that you should want to do this, you should be happy doing this, and you should only make this kind of money. Meanwhile, they're at the top of the mountain sitting back like this. So, and you can see that. So, if your relationship, if your goals, if your life dreams are being suppressed, being kept down, and you're unable to spread your wings and fly, you got something to think about. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself and each other.